Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today we're gonna talk about the million thoughts by the Om Swami. Actually, I read this book recently. I have heard about Om Swami from a very long time. Actually, I read the first book, which is known as The Hurt of the Success. Then after that, I started understanding who is Om Swami, how he started his journey, and I've realized that Om Swami is kind of a, a related. I mean. This guy is kind of uh, our related stuff, our young generation, because he had so went through the, all the things we did, from the starting business, making a hell lot of money, then after buying Porsche, and after that selling Porsche and getting, I mean, doing living on the pain and writing. I mean, that's the transition from his journey, from like from 17 years old, from 19 years old, starting a business, making a lot of money, multi-million dollar business, then fitting everything and coming towards the Hmong side of the reality, going to the Himalaya. So after this, I realized that this guy is something unique. This guy has something unique. The personality is unique. The way he talk, the way he share his thoughts, it's so unique. And the way he tell everything in this book I and mean, the way he share his thoughts in this book, it's so, so awesome that you should check all this book by the Om Swami. Uh, the first one is the million dollar start you can if you are a more of a business person then you can check the book by the heart of a success and if you are if were not a mindful then you can check his books the mindful to the mindful which is really really awesome but today we're gonna talk about the book the million thoughts by the own summit so this book is kind of related to the uh, the problems the the problems with the meditation how any meditation should be done what are the type of the meditation how what are the what are the how a person should do meditation what are the pros of meditation cons of the meditation meditation how he started meditation and how anyone can start meditation in his life so this book talk about a lot of meditation this book has a lot of the sanskrit paragraphs or the sanskrit words in this book that elaborated in the english uh, i mean the good th the really awesome thing about the own swami the way he share his knowledge it's so unique and so pure and so relatable that you just get like you just get instant attachment like we say that uh, the first sign the uh, love at first sight i mean it's kind of for me it's kind of the uh, the uh, the what i can say that the re uh, reading or the at attraction or the attachment at the first sight i mean that's what that's what the uh, relatable word sorry for the other words so the attachment at the first sight so when i started reading his book i realized that he's a really genius monk who has been through all this journey and this book is really good so basically this book start with the question and he goes on elaborating the all the meditation techniques and everything and end this book ends with the practical things that what you can do how you can do for the practicing the meditation while reading the book you will understand that om swami shares his own experience like staying in the himalaya how he started his journey so he, he this is the good thing like this is one of the best thing in this book that the way he share his own experience in the himalaya 18 hours of meditation i mean literally think about it we have 24 hours out of that this guy did 18 hours of meditation continuously 18 hours of meditation i mean that's insane anyone can do that so he talk a lot about the meditation part of the part in this book if I want to cut this book in the section, then I will go through, go, I mean, I will tell you this like this, like the, when you start reading this first, Om Swami tells you that what meditation is not. I mean, that's the one of the most important thing. Like people just read something on the internet and come across their own, own meditation terms. But the way this book tells you to, the, gives you through the journey or this, that this journey, the way, like when you start reading the book, you will understand the journey is why this journey is so awesome like the first one is what meditation is not it talks a lot about this that what meditation is what what people think about the meditation then when if we like when you purely understand what meditation is not then he start defining what is a actual meditation while defining the meditation he talks a lot about the attention concentration spiritual journey i mean these are the more like these are the definition by Om Swami to understand the meditation like what is the attention, how you should concentrate on the meditation, why it is necessary of the journal and all those things. Then he like briefed down into the meditation types. 
what are the different types of the meditation what you should focus on i mean it's really great to understand if you have never been through this journey i will highly suggest you to pick up this book and understand what is a uh, actual meditation and you will you will create a great knowledge about the meditation not only about the meditation what is not meditation how to define meditation you get a lot of things about the meditation then he talk about like concentration a solitude uh, then he come across a point where you can if you are a regular meditator if you are a regular meditator they can then you can think about it keeping a meditation journal like that will help you to boost your power to understand so you can be a consistent you can keep consistency in the meditation if you have a meditation journal i mean this is the great way if you have like the way we do in our work office or the way we do in our regular day to day life that keeping a, keeping a journal so we can track everything what we did what type of things we did what we learned today so this is the same way om swami om swami talk about the keeping a meditation journal that will help you in a greater way to like to get the higher self to understand your higher self then after the end of the book he talk about the nine bliss nine bliss i mean nine stages of bliss what are the different nine stages you have to understand to uh, get the maximum maximum out of that meditation so i'm not going to tell you what are these nine stages because you have to go check that book read it and just buy it there are kindle copies of like i know we are in the quarantine and you can just buy the kindle copy and get reading get started with the reading but i'm not going to discuss nine stages of the bliss if you really want to understand go buy the book and start reading it you will understand much better deeper because if i just tell you there is no use of that no nine stages if you really want to understand go and check this book the one of the great thing about the book is the language itself i mean the way he has written this book is so awesome so pure if you are a non reader even even if you will when you start reading you will never understand when you finish that book i mean that's the language that's the power of language that that's the power of storytelling om swami have i mean i have i have read a lot of books around more than 700 to 800 books i have read but i have never seen from an indian people to get so much uh, storytelling skills so much on the storytelling skill that the om swami have <laughs> i mean this is a really good thing if you want to enjoy something uh, uh, something not spicy i can say but something meaningful something easy to understand then i will highly recommend you to check om swami is the million thoughts i mean suggest you to read this book and also i have posted a many book reviews by the, the other things on the om swami also i will highly suggest you to go pick up that book. if you want to see the quotes from this book i have posted all the quotes on my instagram profile that's ronak underscore blog you can go check them all <laughs> and that's all for the today's video see you in the next week with another book review or another learning see you in the next video bye bye